It can't be done. You're not allowed to even try. Why waste your time? This is nothing more than a waste of time. Don't even try. Why? Why do you even bother? We know it can't be done. You can't connect the Zoom F3 to a mobile phone. You're just... Just take the last time away from all these viewers that want to know the truth. Oh, sure. Make it seem like something's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Just waste more time. How long has this taken? Almost a minute. A minute of you wasting viewers' time. Is this... Are you going to show? Ooh, where my can? It's not connected, obviously. Oh you're, oh, you're trying to show something. Just wasting time. Hey, hey, don't do that. It's not meant to connect. You're not meant to be able to use any mic you want. Don't, don't waste their time. Don't do it. Don't. Why? Don't. This is a lie. It can't be. It can't be accessing the F. No. No. Hello, this is Eric and Alpha House Tech and Reviews, and you might wonder how did I do this? Well, there's nothing special really about doing this. It's just using the right software and the right connection types. Honestly, how many times have you, if you're not starting out, bought many different mics so you can use one with the PC, use one with your camera, use one with your mobile phone and whatnot. You can connect them all. There's basically nothing stopping you other than knowledge. And I'm here to free you because that's what I do here. Of course, I start out not knowing everything and I get done buying all different mics. I didn't know we could connect everything to everything. There's no one that says, oh, you can use this with this and use that with that. Only if it's made that way. But what if it's not made that way? Well, I am here to defy limits and it's about time we get our freedom back. Now let's go through steps of how we did this. Sure, mode video app. That'll solve most of your problems right there. And this way we can even see it's connected. We can see what our volume levels are at with this application. So that is a good start. Next, we need the proper cable. It's not complicated whatsoever. We need our batteries and our device like normal or other connection type. But uh, anyways, we have to take up our USB interface connection. We can also do a line out. I show that in a different video. But this one is interface. So I have a USB type C to my phone or whatever USB type you need or have USB type C to the interface. So connect that. It doesn't have to be any special cable other than USB at least 2.0 data that's the important part you have to have data communication can't be a charging cable that will not work so if you don't have at least 480 megabits per second data communication the cable is absolutely worthless once we have it connected to our mobile device we of course have to turn it on and there are two different ways to interface with this the one will require that i don't have my phone connected so once this is connected the next step i got to do is go into the app on my phone so right now I'm in my app on my phone and I can now change the interface to what I need to go to. So we're going to go to the interface, USB interface. And there's two different ways to connect, but I'll show the one first. We can connect as a PC Mac. <laughs> yeah, get that one, eh? It's not even a PC or Mac, it's a mobile phone. The next we go to is linear because if you go to float, it's not gonna work for 32-bit float, at least not this time with this particular phone. Because if I go to float, I'll be okay. Oh, I guess it does work as a float. Well, here we go. It does detect. <laughs> now, when it comes to actually getting audio, we're going to have to choose linear. And let's do that right now. And it show up on my phone that's connected. And here we go. We can see the sound lines, the waveforms on my phone. And let's do a quick recording, just to verify. 
This is a recording using the Zoom F3 connected to my mobile phone. How am I coming through? The volume will be kind of low, so I'll have to edit and post. But is it possible to connect your mobile phone? Yeah, it is. We can hear it right now. Line out, of course, will give you more volume. But this course will give you the problem of, well, possibility of removing any clipping. So you may want to have the app closed and then go into it that way you can actually make sure your app is working properly and sometimes it crash otherwise. But I wanted to show you on camera that it works and detects just as so. I'll leave a link to the name of the app. Just download it in Google Play Store. And of course, you can use any USB 2.0 cable that connects to your phone directly to the interface. Android, gotta love them. You can still use an Apple phone and do the same thing. You just have to use their certified adapters. We are now using a linear to tablet interface setting. And how is this coming through? How is it coming through? Hmm, interesting. This is Eric of Not Bio Studio. Don't forget to subscribe to Not Bio if you're not already subscribed. And remember to share these videos. Why limit everyone else? Don't be greedy. Sharing is caring. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. This is a test connected to the F Zoom F3, and uh, that's the, the, the this is a test of the Zoom F3 recorded using a linear. Let's change to float.